Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to this video tutorial for the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to kind of edit trickier newborn skin when there's a lot of peeling or shedding, um, and also how to fix peely, sheddy wrists and ankles if you want to fix those. I'm using this beautiful image by Anna Brandt. So this is not um, a complete overview. To watch the complete overview, you can watch video tutorial number one. This video tutorial um, is literally about honing in and fixing these specific tricky details. So first of all, you're going to want to balance the image before you dive straight into editing the skin. It's always really important to balance your image out as best you can because that's going to make things a lot easier when it comes to editing. So I'm just going to use the light shadows and balance the highlights brush here. The brush has been selected for me. Make sure your normal 100% opacity and 25% flow. I'm just going to use that to lift some of the highlights in the hair here. Um, the shadows, sorry, and merge some of these highlights down on the skin just to get a more uniform approach to the image here. So that's just adding um, a little bit more balance over the image there. So you see there before and after, just using those. And if at any point you can brush these um, effects off your image using a black brush, simply use X on your keyboard to switch to black. I think I'm going to keep some of the darkness there. Okay, so now you've balanced the image out a little bit, it's time to tackle the flakes and the redness. Let me just zoom in here on the face so you can see we have this classic um, peeling going on with the skin. The baby acne is not too bad at all. But there is some shedding going on um, nine months in the womb especially when babies are a little bit overdue you tend to find by the time newborn photo shoot day rolls around your skin looks a little bit like this and it's so temporary um, we can get rid of that without degrading the quality of the skin so for this one i'm going to start with the newborn skin pro extreme i'm just going to go straight in there uh, with the extreme you may find this is a bit heavy if that's the case you can delete the uh the, the layer and goes one step back to the pro perfection Pro Perfection will handle this, but Extreme is designed for those slightly larger flat, like patches of flakes and shedding skin. So it takes a while to, um, to run out, it plays an awful lot of commands. And when it's finished, you can simply come in and begin smoothing this over the skin and you'll see those patches and flakes are disappearing. So I'm using that here for the larger areas. Now this one does smooth the skin as well. So I'd recommend using this on those areas that you really just need to paint away. And then for the remainder of the skin, you could use Skin Perfecto unless the whole skin is covered in this. So let's go on for Skin Perfection here. Or um, you can carry on using that one. It will give you a lovely soft finish, but you may wish to use a skin retexturizer after just to add some detail back into the skin tone. So we've played Skin Perfecto now. This is the Goldilocks um, skin editing action. It is literally does everything and it keeps the skin soft but not too soft um, and it gets rid of all of the little bits and bobs that you want to get rid of whilst keeping the integrity of the actual skin texture there, which is just what we want to do. Don't want to create plastic looking babies but at the same time do you want to be able to remove these temporary, temporary um, shedding skin and baby acne areas. So I'm just going to brush this over the skin here. Avoid detail areas with this action um, because it will soften those up too. If you accidentally go over details, you can hit X and paint back over again. So I'm just brushing this over using a white brush over any flakes. If there's the odd little bit that it's not picking up, don't worry about that too much because you can fix that with the select and fix action a bit later on. Um, or you can use again the extreme um, pro perfection. You can also use the calm blotchy and patchy skin, peely wrists and ankles, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm just using this to get rid of these kind of larger flaky areas. I'm going to use skin pro extreme for that bit there too. So let's just paint that one away. And you can see that's done an excellent job there of removing um, all of these shedding areas without actually damaging the integrity of the skin tone. 
So now I'm going to use the um, the Peely Wrists and Ankles Lotion here. So this one's just going to play out and this is exactly what it says on the tin um, with these actions. You don't need to know exactly what everyone does because each one explains it to you. So if you look at your image and you think, huh, there's some uh, Peely skin there I need to get rid of. Just go to the skin section and have a look and find the action that seems right for your image. They do exactly what they say on the tin, these actions. So there we go. We've got Peely wrist. So it literally is like you've just applied sweet baby lotion um, onto the skin there. Just to get rid of these Peely Peely bits. Uh, let's use a little bit of that here over the wrist and the hand. This really does soften up. It is like a lotion. Black means hide, white means show. That area on the face, I'm going to use Skin Perfection. And so on. Now we're into the uh, the colour correction. I'm going to play um, Red Fingers and Toes. This is in the retouch section because that really is. No, it's a, it does change the colour. It is a retouching brush. So you can just lightly wash those over any areas that are a little bit too red for the image. And that would just balance them out there. Depending on your white balance, you may find um, if you go too heavy with this one, it could go a little bit green or a little bit orange, but that's fine because there are color corrections for that too. For example, here we have orange calm. So you can just bring that over any areas that have been left a little bit orange or a little bit green. I'm going to play reduce the reds normal and use this just for some of these um, last minute red areas here. Avoiding the cheeks uh, because you want the cheeks to stay naturally rosy and the lips too. A vibrant skin toner just to add um, a little bit more tone just to match the overall toning of this baby. It's a very vibrant um, dark image there. So just making sure it's not too washed out. I'm also going to add a brighten up brush to the foot a little bit there just to brighten up that area. So let's take a snapshot and flatten before and after just quickly. So before, you can see the skin there, and after. And the integrity and the texture of the skin has not been taken away there. If you did have to go in very heavy, you can use the skin retexturizer action here. You can play this one, sorry if you can hear little voices in the background there. You can play this one um, lightly over the skin to add some texture back in. Um, if you find it's overly smooth because we do not want plastic babies so if you need to do that you can do. So now I'm going to come down onto the gorgeous detail brushes I'm going to play eyelid smooth and tone and this just adds um, if the eyelids are still a little bit dry looking you can use this to smooth them down and it will add a lighter brighter toning there um, to help with any shadowed areas. Also sharpen the lashes and the details so you just rub this over the eyelashes, make them pop out of the image, lips and anywhere like that. Also notice some uh, stronger redness there, so I'm going to play reduce the red strong and just bring that up over this area of the mouth. And go away green shadows because there's a tiny bit of green tinging in there. Divine Foundations, I'm going to play the uh, should we have a honey or olive or chestnut, how about honey bright, this is going to brighten up as well, olive is a mid-tone and you can use this to just go straight over and um, this will brighten up and balance out um, any areas of the skin there, you can use a black brush to make this hide um, and a white brush to make this show. So there we go. There we are. Sorry. <laughs> you probably hear little ones in the background there. So 
Okay, let's go before and after. Snapshot and flatten. Let's go on the the reduced red strong. I'm just going to take that patch away there. You also have on the retouch section, you have calm, blotchy and patchy skin. So if you do have any blotchy, patchy areas, this does help calm them down um, and it adds a more uniform toning to the skin there. Um, so it helps to balance everything out. So if you have some kind of contrast in the skin, a contrast of reds against um, oranges or yellows or whites, you can use this to calm those blotchy areas down. So let's just fix that background up quickly. Um, using select and fix, so I'm going to create a duplicate fixing layer. Grab the patch tool, this is on the spot healing brush menu, so you can just can be hover over that, grab patch, and I'm just going to drag this around any areas that need fixing. Holding down the shift key means you can make more than one selection. This is just a really quick way of fixing the background or extending the background or doing anything like that you need to do but you can find the full select and fix tutorial on the LSP Actions website. So I've just played select and fix action, it doesn't work perfectly at first, select and go again and it's done. A little bit of something there. So snapshot and flatten and let's have a look at before and after. And you can use this, the um, the additional softening actions if you wanted to, the extra details, we could paint away more reds, I think there are more reds that can come away out of this image, but that is how you fix um, extreme skin texture um, and toning, especially on the feet and the wrists um, and the flakes and any areas like that using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop actions. And you can watch the whole tutorials over on the LSP Actions website www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.